Creech Air Force Base finished the testing phase of the Guided Bomb Unit, or GBU-38, back in 2016 and began adding this Joint Direct Attack Munition, or JDAM, to its munition arsenal for continuous training and in combat. Airmen from the 26th Weapon Squadron at Nellis Air Force Base Weapon employed away. their first GBU-38 drop from an MQ-9 Reaper launched from Creech. The overall impact of the GB-38 is just more versatility uh, and more options for the commanders and the, uh, and the air crews downrange. What we're also able to do with the GB-38, is, since it's got a different guidance system, it's a bridge to other uh, GPS guided weapons. The GB-38's global positioning system allows the munition to hit its target in adverse Flash. weather and under Contact. poor visibility conditions. There's definitely times I wish I had the GB-38 uh, in combat prior to this. Reasons where we just can't guarantee uh, a laser weapon's going to be there, and we've been restricted because of that. The GBU-38 also has an effect on weapons load crews. So GBU-38, 20-minute load time, uh, comparatively to the GBU-12, which has a 30-minute load time. So there's more extra stuff you have to do with the GBU-12 than you have to do with the 38. GBU-38 is a quicker load compared to the GBU-12. Like you said, in turn, gets the plane in the air quicker. The GBU-38 is not new to the Air Force and made its debut in the late 90s. But for the remotely piloted aircraft, this addition marks another significant step in our joint warfighter role and capabilities. Thank you.